Over 2,500 Nebraskans have lost their lives to COVID-19. My mom right here. <sighs> Susan Seaman said goodbye to her mother last fall. She loved being with her family. She would have done anything for him. She did do anything for him. 93-year-old Eileen Myers was recovering from hip surgery in Fremont. And they called and said she tested positive for COVID. Despite medical help, her condition became critical. It got to a point where, well, you know, her kidneys are failing. She's going to need to be put on a ventilator. We just don't think, you know, we don't. She passed away 12 days after testing positive for COVID-19. And I just told her before I left, I said, Mom, you know I'm always with you. I'm always with you, Mom. Susan says she struggled with the grief. They're not just a statistic. They're real people with family who, who miss them and are hurting because they're gone. Finding herself looking for ways to cope, eventually leading her here to the COVID-19 Memorial Garden in Madison. A project months in the making was completed in August. It continues to operate thanks to the city of Madison. And it's not just for locals like Susan. The COVID wall just for me symbolizes some of that, that this was kind of different. Brenda Moeller lives near Grand Island, but has a plaque here for her fiance. The hardest part with COVID was that during that time, we couldn't be together. We couldn't be at the hospital together. They both hope more people learn about the memorial, a permanent place. It's just nice when we came over here after it was up to just sit and... For the ones lost forever. Just to, to look at her face. And In Madison, Amanda Poole, News Channel, Nebraska.